Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. CodingFizz.com. I wanted to talk about this app in this article, TVH. Um, pretty much Facebook acquired this company for a hundred million dollars, which is pretty crazy. And all this stuff happened, you know, like in nine weeks, you know, something like that, right? A few weeks ago, right? So this is a very, very simple app, right? But it's something that people can relate to. Like, you know, it's like TBH, I'm guessing it is, to be honest, right? And I know a lot of kids in high school is definitely going to use this. Like I told you guys, uh, I did something similar to this when I was like 14 years old. I almost got suspended, this, this, and that. <laughs> because, you know, people start using it for the wrong reasons. You know, like... You know, a lot of people is going to use this for simple things like, oh, who has the best smile in, in the classroom? Who has, you know, uh, you know, whatever. But let's say, you know, who who has the 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 biggest butt in, a, in a, you know, 11th grade, like little things like that. It gets popular. That's the things that you like when you're like in high school, junior high school, this, this and that, et cetera. Right now. This thing can actually become a, a nightmare for people <laughs> who get bullied because this is going to be pretty crazy. But what's amazing about it is that they launched this thing in one school, right? They shipped it to one school in Georgia. They let it grow. Everybody started downloading it, sharing it to their friends. And then from there, basically, you know, they did it August 3rd, published it, uh, August 5th, shared it to uh, a school in Georgia, they got it trending on August 7. People started seeing it and they're like, okay, cool, TBH, right? Nobody has thought of this, right? To be honest, right? It's super simple, right? And then August 8 is trending. It keeps going up. They updated the design. They cleaned it up. They say, okay, we have something here. It's already trending. Let's get the big boys, right? So they came in, they brought in better designers. They launched it again. Did an update September 15th, they hit number one by October 16th. Facebook bought it a hundred million dollars. Like <laughs> it sounds like it's something that's not real, but it is real, kids. You know, people might be thinking, like, oh man, like why do I care about this? I'm looking to get into web development, I'm looking to get into back end development, guys. This is important because. When you think about it, this is such a simple app that you could have done this with React Native, right? It's one of the most simplest apps that I've seen. It's like, hey, who has the best smile? And then there's like four options and people click on it. And it's like, it's like voting, right? But, you know, for little high school and junior high school students, whatever, right? Now, this is pretty crazy. You know what I mean? Like, to think that they're going to get a hundred, I mean, they probably got it already a hundred million dollars for something this simple. But what's important is the fact that it's the brand. People already know it. TVH, you know, so this, this semester almost in, you know, all the schools are talking about it. my uh, nephew, who's he's like 11 years old. He told me about it and I'm like, for real, they have an app like that. So it reached out from Georgia to all over the country even here in New York, they have, you know, people are talking about it, you know, and I'm like, man, this is crazy. And then now I'm looking at this article. I'm like, man, they got a hundred million dollars in like nine weeks for this simple app. You know, this is very inspiring. I'll be honest, guys. You know, this is why I tell you guys, learn programming, learn the skills that you need to learn and really just go hard, man. Like really, 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 really go hard, guys. Because sky is the limit, right? Now, I'm pretty sure the developers who created this, they've been doing this for a while, right? This is not something that happened from one day to another where they could say, hey, we just started yesterday creating apps and now our app is trending. No, they probably have like three to four or five years doing this. But at the end of the day, that's not what matters. What matters is really when you get that, that trophy, you know? For us developers, we, our trophy is not to, to say, hey, I'm the smartest person. Hey, I, I'm the best developer. I'm the best programmer. That's not our trophies, guys. Our trophies is money. 
Let's be honest. You know, people is going to come in here and be like, oh, all I care about is, you know, programming and this and that. Bro, nobody's going to applaud. For you. <laughs> you know, nobody's going to give you applaud. Uh, nobody's going to freaking, uh, you know, give you a trophy. Your trophy is how much money you make in your career. That's really your trophy. Right. So these guys in like five years, that's it. They got their trophy at the end of the day. A hundred million dollars is a lot. Probably they didn't get a hundred million dollar cash, but most likely like who knows, 25, 35 million dollars in cash. And then the rest they got in stocks. All right. And then on top of that, they still keep their job because, you know, when you get acquired by a company like Facebook, those guys that have been there, they still keep their job, but now they work for Facebook. You're still working for TBH, but a section of Facebook now. So not only did you make man money, you also working for Facebook. <laughs> and then, you know, Facebook stock goes up every single day, you know, and who knows if you're smart, you hold it for a long time. You know, that's your retirement money. You know, $1 million can become, you know, $6 million by the time you retire, right? You just leave it there and forget about it, all right? But to me, it's just amazing, man, that, you know, sky's the limit, right? This is one of the main reasons why I've been creating small games, releasing them on the Android and iOS market, you know, for like the past year on the low. You know, once I'm ready to tell you guys about the games that I'm making, I'll let you guys know, but like I told you guys from the beginning, I'm all about passive income. You know, it doesn't bring me in a million dollars, but it brings me in a pretty, uh, you know, a pretty stack. So, you know, and at the same time, there's so many different little ideas that I have for uh, phone applications and, you know, stuff like this. Because in reality, the people that you want to target is the teenagers, the people who are in the next generation. You know, trying to target guys, you know, from what I call the Facebook age. Those guys, you don't really care about those guys. Those guys are not really on the phone. They're not really sharing your apps. Who you really want to focus is that junior high school and high school. That's it. Or you want to target like a business, a business solution, something that's out there that nobody's doing. Or if they've done it, you could do it better and more cleaner with a nicer UI Something simple, man. <laughs> Sky's the limits, guy. Like, yo, you better start working hard, man. Start programming. I'm telling you guys, man. I don't want it that it'll be like, man, one of us, right? One of us that's here on this video that's watching this. That's like commenting on on, uh, on the video, leaving a message, leaving a down vote. Because <laughs> there's people that leave down votes for no reason, right? Even if it's something positive. If you leave an upvote or a downvote, one of us out here is going to create something that's going to change the world. We're not going to save the world. We're not going to stop hunger. But at the end of the day, we're going to get that trophy. One of us is going to get that trophy. You get what I'm saying? Like, and all of us could do it, but we have to work hard. And also, you know, it's like you got to prototype different application, prototype different websites, different ideas that you might have. Try to build stuff that is simple and easy to ship out. And then later on, you could just, you know, say, hey, now once this company is bigger, then we start focusing on projects that is going to take us longer to make. Because I'm pretty sure this app didn't take them more than the maximum six months to build it. Right. And then look at that after they launch it. So probably in nine months, it made them one hundred million dollars. Right. The guy who created Flappy Bird, he created that in two weeks. After two weeks, he launched it. Then from there, he was making $50,000 a month. I mean, there's so many <laughs> so many stories, guys, that you hear all the time. And, and people might be like, oh, man, programming is dead. Uh, you know, developers are not making money. There's no jobs. Guys, you make your your luck you don't wait for it you don't say hey i'm i'm gonna wait until i get hired and you know this this and that nah man you take you take luck by the neck and you'll be like yo you're gonna get me this now that's how you do it man 
<laughs> don't leave it to luck don't leave it to lady luck hey guys this thing is not about who's the smartest who knows the most languages who who knows the best algorithm out there guys it's not about that man the reality of things is it's a mixture of a whole bunch of things right a mixture of marketing a mixture of design a mixture of having an idea and the most important one is do you know how to use your brain right pick simple things things that regular people could you know could do and they're gonna enjoy that's saying you're gonna have a successful life as an entrepreneur as a developer creating cool applications cool uh, websites for people like that's all you really need you know before you even learn how to use a computer your requirement should be hey do you know how to use your brain all right guys I love you guys man check out my website guys codingface.com I got a couple of courses there man we're killing them right now basically we have like the best courses right now that is just simple I'm making it simple for people you know you get one course you know get access to all of them right you get the get all access pass you get courses like the maximum guys whatever I make for the next you know five ten years you get access to all of that man so yeah if not check the links below on Udemy check out my courses on Udemy too all right I'll see you guys later love you guys please leave a comment please leave a like or give me a, a down vote whatever you want to give me but leave something let me know that you was here and you lasted to the end all right i'll see you guys later bow